go beyond borders. Penna CNN. Is the recession over? It's the week of the G20 and the UN General Assembly. The U.S. president takes on that question, then reveals his top priority. Singing about change, why a peace concert in Cuba is getting both praise and condemnation. And into the Arctic, a first-hand look at what some scientists say is the true impact of climate change. It's 7 in the morning on Monday, September 21st, overlooking Hong Kong's Victoria Harbor. It's just past 8 p.m. Sunday in Sao Paulo, 9 a.m. Monday in Sydney. Hello, I'm Pauline Chu. It's the start of a big week here on CNN. You may have noticed we have a new look and a new name, World Report. The change is part of CNN's new mission to go beyond borders, to bring you the stories, newsmakers, and the context that shape our world. And it's certainly a big week in the financial world. Leaders from G20 countries are... An expanding terror probe in the U.S. sees the first suspects arrested. Some clues emerge about possible targets. I'm Phil Black at Greenland's remote Helheim Glacier, where scientists believe their work shows the impact of climate change is outstripping all predictions, and its consequences will be felt around the world. That story in a moment. And we have a typhoon that has finally exited the picture, but we have bad news for India. Looks like the worst monsoon in 80 years. More on those stories when World Report returns in just 60 seconds. Now over to Los Angeles, you are watching the uh, red carpet events for the 61st Emmy Awards, Primetime Emmy Awards, going on right now. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon, a beautiful day there. We'll bring you more on this when World Report returns right after this. Go beyond borders. George Yorker, CNN. Hello, I'm Pauline Chu, and you're watching World Report live from Hong Kong. Here are the headlines now. U.S. President Barack Obama is not ready to declare the recession over. In an interview with CNN State of the Union, he says the economy is showing signs of improvement, but says he'll leave it up to the Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke to say whether it's officially over. Debate at the 61st Annual United Nations General Assembly is set to kick off this week. Dozens of leaders will travel to New York from around the world, including China, Libya, Iran, and Venezuela. President Barack Obama will lead a rare summit meeting of the UN Security Council on Thursday. Well, hundreds of thousands of Cubans have gathered in Havana for the concert Peace Without Borders. It was organized by Latin Grammy winner Juanes and aimed at helping foreign relations between the U.S. and Cuba. Some Cuban exiles in Florida have spoken out against this concert. On Saturday, a Pakistani court is expected to indict seven suspects tied to last year's terror attacks in the Indian city of Mumbai. The attacks were carried out by ten men, nine of whom were killed. India accused Pakistani militants of involvement in the coordinated attacks, which killed 166 people. A heartwarming story now about a boy who just won a bronze medal at an origami competition in Japan. 